The 72-foot catamarans competing for America's Cup are a technological marvel. They essentially fly across the San Francisco Bay. 52.9 miles an hour. Gliding on carbon fiber hydrofoils that act like underwater wings, lifting the seven-ton boats entirely out of the water. That enables us to get speeds up to, you know, about a 60 mile an hour. Jimmy Spithill is skipper of Team USA. Are you concerned that with a boat like this, it's gone a little too far away from what the traditional sailor can associate with? I don't think so. I mean, should we be listening to the traditionalists or should we be listening to the next generation youth and kids of the day? They love seeing the technology. They love seeing the speed. Who wants to go slow? Certainly not crew member Rome Kirby. You're 24 years old. Yep, just turned 24. And you're on one of the fastest sailboats in the world. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> Ironically, in a sport named for America, Kirby is one of only two American crew members on Team USA. The rest are mostly Kiwis and Aussies, taking on their down-under rival, Team New Zealand. I don't think our country fully, you know, embraces sailing. Do you think this boat could change that? I sure hope so. If it catches on, the more familiar boats, long associated with the race, could be left in their wake. It would be hard to go back to a traditional single hull boat. <laughs> That's what we're all saying. After the cup's over and we go back to sailing monohulls, we're going to be bored out of our minds, we think. Fueling a need for speed that's turning this age-old sport into NASCAR on the water. Carter Evans, CBS News, San Francisco.